Hey everyone, it's Jay. I'm back with another wig review. So today I'm going to share with you another wig that I have in my personal collection. And this wig is by Jean Renault. And this is an, one of my more fancier wigs, a little higher dollar priced wig. And I'll show you why. Um, so Jean Renault, this wig is called the Evan wig. And I have it in color 633. Now, I really like this wig, um, but I do wish I would have bought it in a different color, and it comes in a ton of different colors, but let's jump into her, and I will show you guys what she looks like. So this is Evan. This is how she looks on my little mannequin head, and I'll put her on for you guys so she can you can see what she looks like. Well, first, let's talk about the cap, because you guys want to know about that, right? So the Jean Renault wigs... Um, this one has the smart lace, so it is a lace front, and I'll show you what that is. So this lace is just in the front here, so you can style Evan up, and it looks super natural, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, and this lace is really soft, and then um, the cap is nice on this Evan wig. Um, I do have a larger size head, and this fits me nicely, and then the back of it also um, is really nice because it has Velcro straps, so you can make it adjustable to fit your head comfortably and yeah most of my uh, wigs I'll cut the tags out because you don't want those popping through the wefts of the wig but I left this one on just so I could show you guys and I usually wear a wig cap to hide it a little bit but yeah these pull right out or you can just trim those out with some scissors so again this has a really nice comfortable cap and then let's get her on okay so off with this one and on with Evan so because this wig is darker, a darker brown color, I'm going to switch my wig cap into a dark brown. Um, I normally change out my wig caps with the color of the wig just so it blends a little more easily in case you can see through it a little bit. This one, um, you can't see through it at all, but just to give you that extra security if you're worried about it to cover the wefts up, I try and match my wig caps to... Uh, my units so okay so let's put Evan on so you guys can see so again with any wig what you want to do is kind of put your head into it take the little ear tabs put them right above right in front of your ear and then pull the nape down and then pull it back so this is Evan you guys and I used to wear my hair like this a lot so this is another uh, wig that I bought that was more natural um, for the office I work in an office setting that's professional, so I need to look the part. And so this is another work wig for me. If I wanted to buy this in a different color, I might go a little blonde or something and then use that for like a going out style. So let me show you guys this smart lace. I'm going to get a little close to my camera. So this is the smart lace. You don't have to trim it or anything. You want to put it down on your forehead and then just kind of heat it up a little bit. Just press it down for a second. You can also use um, a little bit of gel if you wanted to, but you don't need to. It just it stays on quite nicely. So once you have that down, it really gets pretty darn invisible. I mean, you can take a little bit of powder if you're worried about it, but you can't even see it really. And the Smart Lace is so nice because the little hairs on here look natural. You don't have to pluck this wig. It is ready to go. And then with the Smart Lace, you can style your this piece up. So if you don't want it down, you don't have to wear it down. You can wear it up. You can wear it on either side. So there's monofilament. So that means you can part your wig on whatever side you want to wear it on, which is great. It's not just a left or a right part. So with this cute pixie wig, you can bump it up a little bit. It has some permatease on the top, not a lot. And what that permatease is, it's just a little bit, like when you tease your natural hair, you have a little bit more volume. So there's just a little bit in this wig. But isn't this great, you guys? So you could style this, like I said, a little bit more flat. If you're like in the office setting, you can style it up off your face. Spray it with a little hairspray. Part on either side. This is just a great little wig. Now, I bought this wig. Um, where did I buy this? I bought this one at wigoutlet.com, and this wig runs for like 176 to 200 So it's a little bit more expensive, but totally worth it. The fibers are awesome. I'll put all the information about the wig in the description box below. 
but it's a synthetic wig. It looks and feels like normal hair. It's just beautiful. And this one comes in like 32 different colors. So if you like a cute pixie cut that's comfortable, I totally recommend this wig. I do have another Jean Renault that I'll show you guys in another review um, that's gorgeous too. But yeah, so this is, like I said, big head friendly. It's comfortable. I'll get up and show you the little turnaround so you guys can see what the back looks like. Okay, so this is the front. This is not a rooted wig, but it is already dark because it's a 633. And it's super believable. Okay, so this is the front. This is the side. Then I'll get up and show you the back. So this is the nape. Beautiful, not too long. It's really flattering on the nape. Hugs your nape nicely. It doesn't look bulky. It looks totally natural. So the Evan wig is another wonderful throw it on and go wig. You don't have to do anything to it. It's ready to go right out of the package, you guys. Like I said, no tweezy, no nothing. You can wear with a little bit of the fringe down if you want. You can style it up off your face. So it looks like your own natural hair. So this, again, this is another wig that I love. It's the Jean Renault Evan wig. Okay. And I took a little, a few notes here to share with you guys. Um, I think I told you the ear tabs are velvet. The front on the smart lace is velvet and so is the nape. So it's super comfortable. Okay, and again, I bought this with my own money. I'm not getting paid for any of my reviews. This is just personal wigs that I'm showing you guys out of my wig collection to help you if you're looking for wigs. Um, you're not sure what to buy. I didn't know when I started getting into wearing these. Um, it was just trial and error. So I hope these videos are informative and can help you make a decision if this is something that you want to purchase for yourself. So again, this is the Evan, and I will put the information in the box below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll show another wig review real soon. You guys take care. Bye.